Hey guys, in this video I'm going to give you my opinion on trading Forex. Uh, I know that many of you that watch me, if you've watched ICT before, you're, a lot of you are going to be trading Forex and you're not going to like my opinion. Uh, guys, I have come to realize that uh, no, I don't like trading Forex. Uh, Forex, um, I mean guys, I'm on a daily chart of the Euro USD. Look at that garbage. I mean, really, man. It was finally, looking at the Euro USD chart, you finally get a nice clean move for a couple weeks. But just look at, look at this, man. Wow. I'm not saying you, I mean, that's obviously tradable, right? But 15 minute chart of the, of the Euro USD. You, this is what you guys enjoy. Like, that's what y'all want to do, is that? Um, this, this is what you guys consider fun? I mean, really? <laughs> That's, no, guys, no. Um, you get some clean moves in the Euro USD sometimes, but most of the time, look at this look at this man look at that it's crazy how do you why why are y'all so um attracted by that that doesn't look like a lot of fun to me at all <laughs> um I'll look at some other other pairs gbp jpy um you do get you had some clean movement on the gbp jpy but look at this move down does that look like a lot of fun to me? No, it does not. Um, and Forex pretty regularly does this stuff. GBP JPY has some cleaner swings than uh, than the Euro USD does, but every you know every other 15 minute candle is in the opposite direction. Like, look at this. This is crazy. Um, just balance price range after balance price range. Uh, working its way down, it's always high resistance. I mean, you got really, you got to, you probably got to get really good at your low time frames, right? And then every once in a while, it'll come out with a nice clean movement. So that's GBP, JPY, uh, AUD, USD, Australian dollar. Some clean movement, mostly not. Uh, look at that. How are you making money with that? That's, I mean, I guess. Let me take a look at this range. Okay, 172. Well, no, 17 pip range. You got to put on a lot of size for 17 pip range. Nothing is clean. The whole move down is always high resistance. Uh, very few clean moves. I. I don't know why you guys like Forex so much. I guess it's because you're outside the United States. You can't trade futures. Um, USD CAD. See the same thing, guys. This is dirty price action. This is really nasty. Um, this does not look like a lot of fun to me. This doesn't. I'm sorry. Uh, that does not look like a lot of a lot of fun. Now there are some clean moves, but mostly not. I don't know what you guys mostly trade. Yeah, yeah, your USD five minute chart. I mean, good God, guys! It's all of Friday. It's look at that. How are you trading this? I mean, come on, that's wild. Um, that's that's crazy. Uh, it's, it's just crazy, guys. Five minute your USD chart. Um, I gotta go back. I gotta go back days before you get some clean movement. Like not sessions, days. Uh, and even the cleanest moves are not so clean. So look at that! Wow. Um, you had a clean sibby right there. Yeah, I mean sometimes the Euro USD offers you pretty clean moves. Um, this is not the kind of price action that I want to make a living off of. It's definitely doable. I'm not saying you can't trade it, but well, I mean, look at that. Oh man. 
Look at all this, guys. This is madness that y'all trade this. Uh, it is doable. You can trade this, but you have to be. You really got to become a professional scalper, in my opinion, to trade forex. Like to trade this, you got to be scalping, probably mostly like a one-minute time frame. I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you. Like, you better be focusing down on like a one-minute time frame and aiming for, yeah. Uh, let's see if you can ever get like six pips, ten pips. I would. I wouldn't even bother with a year USD trying to go for anything more than ten pips. Uh, yeah, that's what's that? Eight pips, nine pips. You got to get down on a one-minute chart before you start to see some separation in these candles. Um, the, yeah, this this doesn't look. I mean, wow! Look at that. That's a barcode. So, GBP JPY. Let's check it out on the one-minute chart. You better be a really good scalper. That's all I can say. You better not be trying to hold on to these positions most of, most of the time for too long. Um, some clean movement. So you do see clean movement a little bit on the GBP, JPY. Um, on the one minute chart, you're starting to see some separation in the candles. Uh, sometimes, you know, I would say, yeah, one minute chart, you're starting to see it. Uh, 30 minute chart. Crazy. A very dense ranges. Uh, let's check out, I don't know, we've looked at some of the big ones. USD, JPY. A little bit. A little bit uh, cleaner movements, yeah. Here on the yen, yen is cleaner. Yen is cleaner. Um, yen might be something to look at. Yeah, no, guys. Uh, looking at the forex action, and then let's go take a look at the Nasdaq. Okay, does the Nasdaq sometimes give you that same stuff? Yes, but you're just you're gonna see more clean movement, more clean movement on the Nasdaq. It's just way cleaner um, not always sometimes the Nasdaq will get funky on you the same way um, I guess it's I, I you know I I just man Forex looking at these charts uh, really really dense ranges you probably got to be scalping on like a one minute time frame 30 second time frame um, I wouldn't be holding on to your positions very long. These things wick a lot. It's very, they're very wicky. NZD USD. Okay, that that had some clean movement, straight down. Okay, yeah. New Zealand dollar had, that's pretty good uh, displacement. So I'll, I'll say that for. This is the chart I'd be much more comfortable trading. Um, so. My opinion on forex guys is uh, no, not for me. Um, I trade the NASDAQ and I'm sticking with the NASDAQ and just the way that the Forex charts look. Let's take a look at gold. Does, gold doesn't look like any fun to me at all. I mean, does that really? That's really what y'all like to trade? That's gold. Um, it's doable. You can trade it. But look at these wicks. Look at this price action. It's just, just wild. I mean, just very... Um, this is not clean price action. It's all high resistance. And then you just get these big reprice candles. I, I don't know why you guys like gold so much. This doesn't seem like a lot of fun to me. Um, I'm not saying it's not tradable. Obviously, it is tradable. But does that look like a lot of fun to you? Um, you get these big reprice candles, and then during the day session, it, I, mean, I mean, oh, my goodness, look at that. Uh, wow. Gold does not look to me to be a whole bucket of fun at all. Gold daily chart, look at all the wicks. I mean, man, everything is high resistance. You're never getting clean runs. Like, look at the NASDAQ daily chart, right? You get clean movement, displacement, separation between the candles, right? Trending. Let's go back to gold. Look at the difference. I mean, the difference should be really obvious to you, right? All the candles are overlapping, long wicks on both sides. Let's go to the ES. Look, separation in the candles, clean movement. Um, why you would prefer to trade a chart that looks like this over the ES, which looks like this, is kind of beyond me. Um, I don't know why you guys like Forex so much. This doesn't look like fun at all. Um, looking at the Euro futures, 
That okay, that's that's pretty clean, but a lot of this wasn't clean. Um, no, I'm sticking with I'm sticking with the Nasdaq. Is the Nasdaq always clean? No, but you can see like real movement in the candles. Um, we were denser in the past. Like yeah, that so this this would be pretty dense. That'd be pretty dense to work with. Um, okay, that was pretty dense. So you know the the Nasdaq does get in its dense moments for sure. But um, you know, recently you're starting to see a lot of more clean movement, big moves on the Nasdaq that are moving cleanly. Whereas if I go in the Euro futures, I mean, oh my goodness, look at all that. That's wild and crazy. So this is, you know, if I specialized in forex, I'm sure I would feel differently. But uh, no, I will tell you, it's, you know, crude oil's always interested me. But even crude oil, I mean, look at that. This, I mean, wow, look at that. That doesn't look like a lot of fun. Um, so with that being said, guys, all of these markets are obviously tradable, but you need to, you should specialize. Um, as for me, no, I don't, I don't like the look of Forex. Uh, Euro USD, that doesn't look like a lot of fun. Uh, this looks very dense. GBP, JPY, that, that looks very wicky. It's definitely true. Now, this is cleaner than I think the Euro USD. Uh, that was a nice move higher. Go take out all that buy side liquidity. Um, so that was that. Uh, a lot of dent, just a lot of density. Really long wicks. Not nearly as clean, in my opinion, as the Nasdaq or the ES. And so I just don't see the advantage to trading the GBP JPY over trading the Nasdaq. Uh, I think the Nasdaq is way more clean. Um, that there's there's no way you could tell me that it's just from a day trading perspective that forex is a superior vehicle to the index futures um, whether it's the ES or the Nasdaq you can't tell me that that this this price action is way cleaner and easier to read and less wiki uh, than than this freaking euro USD it, I cannot be convinced that this is this is the money making vehicle I mean, obviously you can make money with it but but no, there's no way you could convince me to trade the year USD over the NASDAQ. I, it's just, no, absolutely not, guys. No way. So anyways, that's my opinion on Forex. Um, I'm sticking with index futures. Bye-bye.